Hi Booktube, this is Johnny. I'm sitting in my main study. Reason why is because I am listening to music on my stereo. I got a bunch of CDs in the mail this week. And one of the CD, I got this CD today by the group uh, Enslaved. This is their album E. I got that in the mail, and then I got this one in the mail, Nur, Nurk Ravaf, The Mirror Void. I got that in the mail today. And then I got this one in the mail, Rebirth of Nelfast, Tabactrium. <laughs> and I got this one, uh, Brief Lands. I got in the mail. So I've been getting a bunch of CDs in the mail. Merry Christmas. I don't believe in Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas, but my wife, every time I get something in the mail, my wife says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, so I got a bunch of CDs in the mail. Uh, today is, according to my diary, Today is December the 23rd, 2017, here in West Michigan. It is 9, 19 at night, and I think it's, it's a Saturday night. I was watching professional football. I was watching the Vikings and the Green Bay Packers, but it was boring, and I, so I put the music on. Got my CDs sitting in their living room, just chilling. And then I thought, before the new week starts, I wanted to show you the used books that I got this week. Now, I mentioned in my last video, I was going to go to thrift stores today, or even yesterday, and I never got around to it. But this week, I went out to thrift stores even though I was sick but it was dry out and there was no snow it wasn't raining there was no ice and so I figured since there was a break in the weather I might as well go out there and take advantage and get out of my system and visit Goodwill, Salvation Army, Action House, Bibles for Mexico and so I thought I'd show you those used books so I can take them down to the lower level and start a new week and have these out of, off my to be read pile. I don't plan to read these, but I want to get them down to the lower level so I can find a place for them and all the chaos and the mess down there. But first of all, I have been feeling somewhat better. You probably can tell by my sound of my voice. I'm not completely restored to vigorous health but um, I'm feeling better. So this morning I did get back out and read Hebrews and James Reformation Commentary on Scripture. I read that this morning for devotions and um, so I read that and then I read God has spoken in his son the biblical theology of Hebrews by Peter T. O'Brien. So I read those this morning. I don't know what I read I think I mentioned to you that I was reading that crime novel IQ by Joe Ide. So I read that most of the day. But these are the used books. So this week I found these used books at thrift stores. I found this novel called Burnt Shadows by Kamala Shamiz. Uh, from what it says here, she's a Pac she's from Pakistan, but this is not a translation. This is a novel. I got that. Well, it was recommended back here by Saman Salman Rushni, uh, Moshan Ham Hamden. You know, people I respect, writers, and it was only what well, was a dollar twenty-five, I think. That's not right. I think I paid 60 cents for it. 
Well, maybe I paid a dollar twenty-four. I don't think so. I got it at Salvation Army. Anyway, I found a biography of the painter, English painter Turner, by James Hamilton. Uh, these are paintings by. Let me see here. Give you an idea of Turner's paintings. Here. Very, uh, see. recently I got from the book nook this book by T Turner on Tur, which is like him touring throughout Europe and all these paintings. So I added that to my Turner collection. And then I found this kind of cultural history, Bowling Alone, The Collapse and Revival of American Community by Robert D. Putman. I like studies on American culture, so I got that. And then I found this novel by this Cuban writer. I have two other novels by her. She wrote uh, How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents, which, which I have, and The Time of Butterflies, which I have. And this is her novel. This is Julia Alcaraz, Veraz, in the name of Simone, Sol Simon, Salaman. So I got that from my Julia Alcaraz. So I got that. This was came out in 2000. And then I found a novel by this is a by called Boston Adventure by Gene Stanford. I mentioned a while back that Gene Stanford was married to the po poet Robert Lowell. Several months ago, I bought a biography and short stories by her. This is a novel. This is called Boston Adventure by her. And then I found this. Uh, it's called The Onivar's Dilemma, a Natural History of Four Meals by Michael Pollan. I just recently picked up his, no his nonfiction, A Place of My Own. So I can add these two together. And then I found this Penguin Classic by Daskowski, Fyodor Daskowski, The Devils. I have this already, but I like I liked this edition, so I bought it. And then I bought The Resistance to Revolution, Colonial Radicals and Development of American Opposition to Britain. In 1765 to 1776 by Pauline Mailer. I already had a book by her in our library, American Scripture, Making the Declaration of Independence by Pauline Mailer. I like, as you know, I'm into American history, colonial history, 19th century American history, the history of American revival, Civil War, the Gilded Age, the Reconstruction, anything about American history. So I have, now I can add this one to my Pauline Mailer collection. And then I found two books on Ronald Reagan. This is about a memoir by, it's not, it's kind of like a fictional memoir of Dutch on Ronald Reagan by Edmund Morris. And then next to this, I found Reagan, The Life and Letters, with in a, edited with an introduction and commentary by Karen K. Skinner, Annanise Anderson, and Martin Anderson. So I, since they were both together on the shelf, I just bought them. I already have this biography of President Reagan, A Roll of Lifetime by Lou Cannon. So I add these to my Reagan collection. So those are the used books I found, well, this week, now it's almost three, three days ago. So now I can put these down on the lower level and forget about them. I don't know, this, the new week we're supposed to have extremely cold weather, light snow. I don't know if I'll go anywhere this week. I don't have any books coming in the mail, any used books or anything. 
So I don't know exactly what I'll be reading. Uh, like I said today, I was reading that crime novel. I read on the Epistle of Hebrews commentary, Biblical Theology of Hebrews, writing in my diary, staring off into space, getting over this sickness. My wife works the next three nights. So yeah, life just keeps going by. Not much else going on. It's like I always look at reading books and writing as just swimming in an ocean of words. I like words. I like titles of, of novels. I like nonfiction quotes. And I like reading about American history and world history and salvation history. And I like reading biographies and... It's kind of like you have this huge narrative of history for the last 6,000, 7,000 years, and you can just look in that narrative of history of mankind, and you can just zero in at certain little moments and just focus on them. And, and you can read about the lives of these people in those time periods in America, in Europe, Middle East, India, wherever, Israel, you know, read the Bible, read about early Christianity, read a, an epistle by the Apostle Paul, Pauline theology, read about the, the plan of God to save the cosmos, you know, all kinds of things, and just spend my day in that kind of world, which I really am thankful for. So that's what's going on. Like I said, I'm feeling better. Been listening to some music, reading the New Testament, the Epistle of Hebrews, reading a crime novel. And yeah, and life just keeps zooming by like a speeding bullet. So I hope you have a good new week. Like I said, I don't celebrate Christmas. I am thankful for the Incarnation. I am thankful for the death of Christ, die on the cross for sinners. I thank you that he rose from the dead and that he ascended and he is now enthroned on the right hand of God, ruling all that we see, all of creation, all the infinite space, and that one day he'll come back and we'll go into the eternal state. And then it'll be a time to celebrate time of eternal praise and jubilation surrounding the throne and worshiping the Son of God, the Lord, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. So I'll sign off. And once again, thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Hope all is well. And until next time, bye.